Many people regard the historical development of science as something that causes increasing problems for religious belief, and especially for Christian beliefs. What they don't realize is that that view is simplistic and inaccurate. Science actually develops in all kinds of complex ways, and even in ways that support Christianity. One example of this is the 20th century development of the Big Bang Theory, which said that the universe had a beginning. This was significant because up until then, many people thought the universe was eternally old. The atheist philosopher Bertrand Russell is one example of this. Shortly after World War II, Russell had a famous debate with the theist philosopher Friedrich Koppelstein, and the issue of the beginning of the universe came up. The historian Nick Spencer points this out. Uh, Bertrand Russell and, and Frederick Copleston mm. um, were debating this subject just after the war. And Copleston argued that the universe had a creator, and Bertrand Russell argued, no, we can justifiably say it's been there forever. Mm. And of course, what happened was that 20 or so years later, the idea of a Big Bang and some kind of origins of the universe became. Uh, accepted scientific norm. Now, in that instance, in that particular debate, that would have swung the pendulum away from Russell and towards Copleston. But of course, you never know what's going to be around the corner. Nick Spencer makes an important point here. We always need to remember that science is always evolving in complex ways. Sometimes it moves toward faith in God, and sometimes it moves, or at least appears to move, away from God.